Now it's time for motivation and uh, we have Ola Dipupo Clement, a global investor and trusted wealth advisor, uh, that's wealth creation and retention coach more like, uh, with a career spanning over two decades. Now uh, he has co-founded several companies within the construction, software development, executive education and agriculture space. Uh, he champions the crusade for the economic emancipation of the average African through platforms uh, such as Wealth Creation Summit and the Mega Housing Summit. Ola Dikupo joins us to talk about how to achieve your financial targets. And that is the focus this morning. Uh, such a pleasure to have you here. Thank you for having With me. With all you've achieved, I'm, I'm really looking forward to, <laughs> you know, getting my financial target sets for this year. Excellent. Without any doubt. So mm -hmm. we're going to be talking about how to achieve your financial targets. Yeah. Yeah, so um, I know you have four major links you want to talk about, but mm. let's use me okay. as an example. Okay. I don't di drive a bus. I'm not a conductor. <laughs> I don't know how to make big money mm. one month. Mm. So mm. let's say, for example, now, okay. I earn a decent salary, okay. and I'm hoping that at the end of the year, I have 15 million in my account. Please okay. don't ask me how to do it. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. <laughs> How can I achieve this using the four steps you're going to give to us? All right, very, very quickly. Um, the, the first step in the journey to wealth creation is having the right uh, belief system, having the right mindset. The next important step is to make money. You can't manage or multiply money you have not yet made. Yeah. And one source of income no longer works, mm. all right? So, um, and clarity bats focus. Focus mm. en en enhances um, productivity. Mm. So the first step mm. to take is how much exactly do you want to make? I have said it's 15 million. 15 it's million. So, now, one of the things I've seen when people set targets mm. and why it's really often difficult for people to achieve it is there are no consequences when they achieve or not achieve them. Okay. So nothing goes wrong and nothing goes right. Mm. I call that seductive goal. So you must be able to tie that financial goal to something that drives what you are running right now. So for example, it's not just, it's not good enough to say you want to earn 15 million. Mm. Let's assess, let's, let's drive that by how much do you even require to maintain your current living standard right mm. now? So if you need to pay rent, if you need to pay children's school fees, mm. if you need to maintain your transport and all of that. When you measure that, you realize that if you don't, if you don't meet your target, right? If you measure that, you probably require one million. Yeah, I've already month. removed nine million from that fifteen million. <laughs> <laughs> so you realize that okay. So by the time you measure that, I mean we don't have so much time to analyze setting that first target. How much money do you really want to make? Mm. Um, so it, it's very very important. And I've increased it. It's fifty now. But go okay. Ahead. So whatever it is you want to call it, I, I've seen people say I want to make fifty million and mm. I want to make thirty million, but nothing is tied to it. So how much do you need to maintain your current standard of living? Mm. And then what is it that will give you some measure of pleasure? You need to understand that as human beings, we are driven by two kind of forces. Mm. Um, we are either running away from something or running towards something. Okay. So if something is not, it's giving you pain, you run away from it. If it's giving you pleasure, you run towards it. Mm -hmm. So you must know, I mean, if you know that not achieving this target will impact on your, may, may land you quit notice, for example, mm. that will that will create the impetus to pursue mm. your target. So mm. a lot of people don't have, they're not self-motivated, not driven, mm. because nothing is at stake, all right? So that's very important. So by the time you measure that, you, you, you can set that target. Okay. Number two is, how much sale um, do you need to achieve that income? Mm. What, that su what that suggests is that everybody must have something they are selling, whether they are the producer or somebody else. It may be a skill, it may mm. be a product, it may be a platform, it may be a program, it may be, mm. an inv it may be, it may be a place. Mm. And there are ma many things that you can sell today and leveraging the internet. Number three is how many of that product or service do you need to sell, you know, to get that sale that will give you the income? We don't have much time. The, the fourth one, which is, probably, in fact, my, in my opinion, the most important. Mm. And that is, how, who need what you are selling? That's the one I would really like us to talk about okay. the most, because you mentioned earlier, well, yeah. 
off camera <laughs> <laughs> that when we talk about who needs your services, yeah. just as you said, very broad, yeah. you have to think about the people who can connect you to your service, Absolutely. how you can get the money mm -hmm. from those that are holding it mm. in quotes, yeah. <laughs> how to actually make something of it. Okay, so everybody in the market is self-centered. Sure. And money flows in the direction of trust and value. Mm. And so... When, people, when you can communicate the value of your product, people don't buy product, they buy the value it offers. Yeah. People don't buy from you, um, people essentially buy from those they know, like, and trust. So these are very, very important. We can't dig deep into all of these, but what is critical is you must know who is holding your money mm. and who needs what you are selling, or who know those people who need what you are selling. selling. Who are, I mean, there's what we call brand association. So mm. uh, the, the typical one that we can all relate with, most of us who live in Lagos or live in Nigeria, is the guy who sells uh, matchy beans, uh, the lady who sells matchy beans, what we, what we call a wagon. Hey, and then you have the other guy who sells bread. Yeah. So they, they, there seems to be some degree of collaboration. Yeah. So who is already servicing the people who are using, um, who is servicing the people who need your product. Mm. So forming an alliance, collaborating with such people can mm. get you closer. And so whether you are a business man, an entrepreneur, a sales professional, this step, this process is very, very critical. And now it's important to also mention, there's a difference between a customer and a consumer. Mm. A lot of times we confuse the two. Yes. The consumer is the person who uses your product at the end of the day. Mm. But the customer is the one who pays for it. So okay. I'm sure you probably have a child in, in a crutch. The child is not the one paying the school fee, but the child is the consumer, yeah. right? The parent is the customer. Yeah. So you have to appeal to both. And most times, if you can appeal well to the children, the, yeah, the, the consumer, yeah. the, the customer will have no choice but to commit their phones. Yeah, because the children will not make their lives easy. Absolutely. <laughs> a veterinary doctor, for example, also is, falls into that same category. He will not target dogs. It will target the owners of dogs. So you need to know the difference between your customer and your consumer. Uh, yes. We have so much to cover. There's a lot around this. Um, you can follow me on, at, at Oladi Poklem on, on my Instagram page. And I have a financial freedom masterclass that comes up periodically. I do it just once or twice a year. Okay. And it's usually a nine-hour session. And I, this is one of the uh, modules I deal on. And so for people who may be interested, they, they can just go on my bio on Instagram and then and register financial freedom masterclass i have a good understanding of what you said about the fourth one being the most important mm. because that is something we actually overlook yeah. a lot yeah if you're for example you most times we pass hospitals mm. and we see pharmacies in front of them but we <laughs> don't think of the fact that the pharmacy is best situated there because when a, 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 a patient needs medicine, mm -hmm. the patient can just walk straight into the pharmacy. Absolutely. And, and so there's, you're just so interwoven. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank Sometimes you. we know certain things, but mm. we don't realize that yeah. they are important, <laughs> even yeah. though they are in our faces. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. it's so good to have you thank on the show, thank giving you so much, us uh, these thank tips. You. Thank, uh, you. thank you so much. Thank Aladi Kuko Clement. Thank you. thank you for having me. All right, uh, we will take a break now. Wake Up Nigeria continues in a bit.